Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I'm back with another video. Um, this is just a, a quick sales update on a few things, plus my very, very, very first picks of 2013. I did manage to go to an estate sale last Saturday and my very first garage sale uh, today. So I was I was excited. Didn't find very much at all, but did get a couple good things. So first, um, I guess let me show you the things that I bought. I went to an estate sale last Saturday. All the prices were completely ridiculous. So the only thing that I ended up buying was a Scrabble game. So already counted and bagged up the tiles. Paid two bucks for it, which is about the max I pay for Scrabble games. And I'll save it up until I find nine more Scrabble games and then sell the whole kit and caboodle of tiles for a uh, hundred bucks. So then uh, I went to this garage sale today which I didn't think was going to happen because they kept saying we were going to get this horrible storm here on the east coast and woke up this morning and there was nothing. Ground wasn't even wet. Nothing. So I don't even know whether to believe these weather forecasters anymore. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, um, the only thing it did do was kind of blow over our tent style like shed that we had in the back, which Sandy pretty much killed back in October, and now the wind gusts yesterday officially killed it. But that's okay. Uh, so anyway, I went out today. <clears throat> to a garage sale. Thankfully it was indoors because it's a little chilly today. And I found this for my daughter. These are those um, bath fizzies. She loves these things. So I got this for two bucks, brand new, which is going to go in her Easter basket. So it was worth it just for that. I got this cologne spray. It's um, Juice by OP. It's an ounce. Uh, I believe it's for men. I might make 10 bucks off of it. If it was a little bigger size, I definitely would, but hoping to make at least 10. We'll see. And then my best find today was this bottle of Aqua Di Gio uh, Men's Cologne by Giorgio, Giorgio Armani. And it's almost full. It's 3.4 ounces, so I should be able to make um, $40 on this. I'm going to put a buy it now of 40 on it. So, it was worth going out and looking today. Um, Alright, now I'm going to show you a few things that I have bids on right now. They end next week. I bought this bag of plastic Wow Wow Wubsy toys sometime last summer for two bucks. This has a bid on it right now of $14.99. Then I put up this New York Yankee Build-A-Bear outfit by itself. I have a lot of clothes um, downstairs. You know, I'm going to bundle everything together. But this I wanted to sell on its own just because it's Yankees and you can only find it here, um, you know, in the New York, New Jersey area. So I have a bid on this of $9. I uh, paid, I don't know, like 50 cents for it, something like that. And then the last thing that, I don't know, kind of got my fingers crossed about this one. Hoping this goes somewhere good. This is a Grateful Dead needlepoint pillow that I bought last summer for a buck. I'm sure it's in one of my haul videos. Um, the guy was just putting stuff out when I got there, and as soon as he put this down, I snatched it up. Paid a dollar. The guy had had it since, like, I don't know, the early to mid-70s. And I can't find out anything about it. Can't find another one like it. I listed it for $20. I got an initial bid within, uh, in, within less than an hour. And now it's day two and it's up to $36 with a bunch of people watching it. So, fingers crossed, this is my sleeper of the week. And it's, you know, I just need two people like fight to the death over this thing. And now I'm going to show you guys a few things that sold, hopefully before my battery dies on my camera. 
Um, this is a Tech Deck uh, wooden collector series uh, fingerboard that I found a Tuesday morning a couple weeks ago. I was there to, you know, buy myself crafty things and found three of these. Two were like this and the other one was a different style that I already sold. Uh, paid three dollars a piece for them. They were on clearance and then there was an extra discount on top of that. So paid three dollars. I have these up for $19.99 in free shipping. I'm still waiting for this ding dong to pay me uh, and I have one left downstairs. The other one I sold for I think around 15. That one wasn't as desirable as this one. And then finally uh, these are the things that sold and have been paid for in the past day. I sold this little Coca-Cola lighter that I had listed that didn't sell at auction. I sold it for $14.99 uh, to someone in Australia. I sold this little military pocket Bible from World War II for $12.50. This is a Pentel mechanical pencil probably from the 70s. I sold this for $7.99. This is a very, very early Peanuts book. It has some of the earliest comics in it um, from before, like Lucy and um, Linus even showed up from, I think, 1950 or 51. This sold for $9.99. And then this book, Brooke Tucker's Golden Christmas, building a miniature masterpiece. This is all about um, miniature rooms, dollhouses, stuff like that. It shows some of her rooms that she does and then in the back it gives you the plans so you can build some of your own things. I got this for almost nothing at a garage sale. Didn't know anything about it but I did know that dollhouse stuff the quality stuff can sometimes sell for crazy prices. So I picked this up, ended up selling it um, for $50. That was my starting bid on it. Sold it for $50 and the person lives in New Zealand. Of course they didn't tell me that. So I had to charge them $20 for shipping, which I thought might be a problem, but thankfully it wasn't. They paid me. So that was a nice little find. So all together, all this stuff, I think, may have cost me $2. It may have even been less than that. And I ended up making a little over $95. So not too shabby. Uh, I know this was free. This was like $0.10. Cents. That was about $0.10. Cents. That was maybe a quarter. And that may have been a dollar. Not sure. So that is it for me today, guys. Hopefully I'll be back with some more videos as the season picks up. And if that pillow does anything, you know, great, I'll be back and I'll let you know how I did on it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Good luck picking, and have a great weekend.